know. All round pay the favour. Mm. As far as I'm concerned, us three are tight to the end. Yeah, yeah. That's what you test it. Must stick together. Yeah. The three of us. Yeah. I hope Sitting down at the merch feast, I was a bit nervous. Right now, there are eight original heroes. Nice. This sounds amazing. And four original villains here on this new tribe. On paper, we're pretty outgunned. But I'm at my best when I'm leaping up off my feet. And I am going to hit the ground running. Can we open the lobster and try it? Yeah, well, there's no, been a lot of got the tail. Take the head, oh, whatever that is. Could you take the whole thing? Oh, 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 my head. It's like, <laughs> die, Hayley. <laughs> <laughs> right now, my priority is simple. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the schmooze at today's merge feast. And I've made it clear with my cross tribe interactions with Hayley that I'm definitely willing to work with her this time. Let's do a toast. We made it. All right. To, to, Cheers. And to finally be on the same trial after 28 days. Finally, finally. <laughs> we thought of something survivor-focused in Samoa, that's and great. that's the word mole mole. And mole mole means two things. It means I'm hungry, oh, yeah. and it means <laughs> please. Just sticking with the theme of heroes and villains, um, we thought of vigilantes, because not quite a hero, not quite a villain. We all put it to a vote. Three, two, one, mole mole. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's six. That's six. Oh, I'm getting convinced by the Molly Molly. Molly Molly it is. It's a seven out. Molly Molly it is. I warned Shawnee and Liz that Flick just changes her mind. <laughs> and now Flick has thrown us under the bus. We need to get a plan up and running to take back control of this tribe. Right now, there's a block of five between Shawnee, Liz and myself, and Jerry and Matt. But I'll need seven people in an alliance to make sure that I'm in a majority. One of the single biggest moves you can make when you're playing Survivor is to turn your enemy in the game into your friend. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do with Simon. Because the deal that we got offered was, Simon, you're out first. <laughs> that makes okay. sense, yeah. I would rather David, or Sean, Sam goes. So we have a decision to make moving forward that will determine all of our destiny. It's gonna happen. Do you know what you could say? Simon was hanging around like a bad smell, then he walked off, we and we're still on the Simon yeah. plan. Yeah. Yeah. Do you mind if you say that's, that? That's what you can say. No offense, Simon. Sounds but good. Obviously. I've been at war with Simon for the first half of this game, but if I can reel him in with an offer of peace, I can maneuver him and I can take charge of this game. Changing it to David right now, just in case Sam does have a knife. Yeah. The more I think about it, there's no difference between Sam and David. One's a potato, one's a potato. And I'm going to toss out the rotting veggies right where they belong. So how comfortable do you feel about your position tonight? I'm 100% confident tonight. You, if you don't know what's happening on day 29, then what the hell has been going on the past couple of weeks? We've had an epic season of heroes v villains, and you've played a very important role as a raw potato. So consider your game now cooked. 12th person voted out of heroes versus villains. George the Unifier has brought seven very different people together for the common cause to get the king to the top seven. I've got a loyal foot soldier, Jerry, my old frenemies, Simon and Haley, and a new mate in Matt with allies Shawnee and Liz. Those four heroes can't do anything to stop my crusade for that holy, holy crown. We are literally the top seven unless something goes catastrophically wrong. Why would you jump into a minority that's unstable? Yeah. And it's that simple. Really, I'm concerned with we. So am I. Yes, I'm same. on the same page. That, that, can, that concerns me. I'm what, happy what, with someone? that. Any input, Are you happy with that? Yep. Flick has been skating on thin ice for a while now. She somehow survived the tribal council when Stevie went home, but tonight is going to be the night that Flick finally gets the flick. I don't think the decisions that were made at Tribal Council the other night put anyone in any better place. 
Okay. George, did you just say something? Um, no, I, I, I have a different interpretation of it. I think um, people had the chance to get on the winning ship at the last Tribal Council, and that ship sailed and left the port, JLP. And just because you're standing by at the deck going, give me a ticket, give me a ticket, mate, the cruise ship's gone, it's sailed. It's sailed, we're gonna have a great time now. Please let me win, let me win just once. I don't want immunity, I want KFC. He drops out, yeah. that is it. <laughs> Haley and George win reward. KFC, <laughs> there is the survivor heaven, red and white, KFC dreams. Big buckets of chicken, of popcorn chicken, of chips, of sauce. I want to dip everything in the sauce. And I can't wait to stick some KFC in my mouth. My true frenemy in this game is Haley. I'd love to get to the end with the Queen because nothing would say redemption more than beating Haley at the final Tribal Council. The reason why we have the same problem, mm. it's the money issue. What do you mean by that? Well, people might not want to give you the money twice. I know that. I know. I know it's like a little tough spot for me to ask. And I won the $60,000 set for life reward of the auction. But my surprise survivor party. She did not. Did. If any other player on this tribe finds out about my secret prize, I'll know that I'll have a problem with Haley. And that's exactly why I've told her. Put four on Nina. It must be Nina. I'd like to, oh, I'd like to vote Nina then, if that's, yep, I'd like to. Why don't we just, okay, let's, let's go guys on Nina, mm -hmm. girls on Sean. Okay, easy. Oh, let's simplify it, and there's no, got him. We've caught Simon with his pants down, and this is the final red flag for me, trying to be on the majority of a split vote, because he wants to change his vote with the minority, and probably vote for me. I saw him celebrating with the enemy at a challenge. And now he's trying to protect his boyfriend, Sean, more than anything else. And I have to convince the rest of the vigilantes to change the plan. Hey, we? Yep. Sorry. We don't have much time. Are we okay? Simon, he no. is not with us tonight. We are voting for Sam. We will tell Matt it's Sam. We do not say a word to Simon. I would like to play it for myself. Okay. Thank you. You have to play for me. Play for yourself? All right. Yeah. First vote. George. 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 Sam. Fourteenth mm. person voted out of Heroes versus Villains. Sam. Sam. Thank God he's such a bad player. Yeah. Otherwise, I'd be gone. Can you give you some of these chilies? The sheets? The sheets? The sheets? Yeah, you have her. When did the Spice Girls become the Shivs? This Spice Girls alliance has been my core and my base since day three in the game. And Shawnee's been my closest ally since the very, very start on Villain's Beach. And now I find out Shawnee and Liz are walking around calling our alliance the Shivs. about their shears, the more I'm starting to realise Shawnee will take Liz to the final two. We're going to have to make a move on our alliance at eight. Are you okay to go to four? Yeah, I feel like we have to. Yeah. Shawnee's a third time player, and if we get down to five or six players left, Shawnee will be ruthless. And I'm not going to risk myself going home. If I don't fire the first bullet at Shawnee, I think she might fire at me. Shawnee, thank you so much for being a great friend. 
But tonight, I'm going to prove a point that tactics and strategy are more important in Survivor than social game. Thank you for teaching me your social skills. 15th person voted out of Heroes vs. Villains, third member of our jury, Shawnee. That's okay. The biggest risk of the blind side of Shawnee was losing Liz, and I've just reeled her back in. Simon's offering me a top two deal? You're right. It might, 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 might only hope. I mean, the nerve of him. But George has already won $60,000. <gasps> Oh, oh, no way! I know, he won it at the auction. What, 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 the plan is quite simple. Myself, Jerry and Matt are going to put three votes on Sean. Hayley, Nina, Liz and Sean will be putting four votes on Simon. If, if any person sitting here hasn't thought about who they're going to want to work with in the final three or how they're going to get to the final two, then... You know, they're definitely behind the eight ball because the game moves. And if you haven't done anything yet, you might as well just stand up and join those three on the jury benches because you're wasting everyone's time. I haven't done anything and... Um, yeah. No, I didn't say that to you. I never said anything like that to you at all, son. You said I had nothing under my belt or something along those lines. I don't think so. That was probably directed to Sean. Not everything's about you, Simon. No, I Not don't. tonight. <laughs> no. I hope Simon goes tonight. Person voted out of Heroes vs. Villains, fourth member of our jury, Sean. Um, the three guys and Nina. It wasn't me. I voted Simon. Wasn't me, Jerry, or Matt. No, I voted Sean. And, and it wasn't Hayley, and it wasn't Liz. It wasn't anyone else. I was the second vote red. No, I was the second vote red. What was... I was Sean, the Sean. You just gave it up, Nina. No, I'm I was the second you. vote red. You're better off owning it as a move. I'd be more impressed by that. You genuinely believe it was me and it wasn't one of the other girls, then how do I know you won the set for life reward at the survivor auction? Mm. Mm. So, yeah. And no which one, one of the girls told you that? What? No, no, this is very interesting because right now you're the priority target to go and you're dead and this might save your game. Hayley. Hooked up with Hayley. Hayley's been trying to screw me over for the past couple of days. And I, I'm in a bit of state of shock. God, I'm like having a heart attack. I'm having a heart attack too. Does she know that you're... She doesn't know that I know, so I want this to be a secret war on Hayley. Last night was the first time that I didn't know the exact outcome of a vote. I think Hayley's one of my closest friends at Ruby and Goswami. We obviously talk, like, on a weekly basis in real life. She didn't need to do this. I'm sad, because I genuinely wanted to get to the final two with Hayley again. We could have stood next to each other, friends, king and queen, and the best player could have won. I let my guard down. Hayley used our relationship outside the game against me. Here's the Survivor Spa. The Survivor Spa and the Jacuzzi Alliance that'll run out the end game. Jacuzzi Alliance. Cheers. Today is about one simple thing. Who is the better game player? King George or Queen Hayley? Hayley, I wanted to take you to the final tribal council so the two best players could get to the end. But tonight, I will reign on this tribe alone. 17th person voted out, fifth member of our jury. It's clear that I've played the best game here in Samoa by an absolute country mile. And with seven days left in the game, my conquest isn't over. I've set myself up better than any other person because I have two top three deals. One with Jerry and Matt. I was just saying my plan is to stick with you. 
Okay. All right. I'm believing you 100%. Yes, Terry. And one with the Jacuzzi 3 with Liz and Nina. So the next six days are going to fly. Oh, they will fly. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I'm just really... I can pivot left or right is why I'm going to win. Simon has made it to day 41 on sheer luck alone. And tonight, Simon will get what's been coming for him. His torch snuffed, just like it says on his hat. After 42 long days, Simon, I finally get to see you go home. Teeth person voted out, sixth member of our jury, Simon. I feel like I've really achieved something again, playing Survivor for the second time, and I'm in the top five again. I've gotten to the top five by being a ruthless and fun villain, willing to take chances. <laughs> I've worked really hard to position myself still in the middle of the try. I can stick with Jerry and Matt and go to the top three with them. I could go back to my Jacuzzi Alliance and make amends with Nina. Nina, your tribal council performance tonight made me decide to vote for you because I was going to vote for Matt. But I reckon I'm better off with a happy Jerry and unhappy Liz. Sorry. I came in here with the biggest target on my back. But look at me now. I didn't come here to decrease my threat level. I ramped it up. I've proven why I'm one of the legends of the game. If I can present my case to the jury, heroes versus villains will be the coronation of the king. Nobody deserves that crown more than me. You know what? He's learned from the last game, I think, and he's come in, and I, I think he's a hero. <laughs> I think Jerry realises he might as well let his best friend George win. Every single decision that Jerry's made has benefited me. 20th person voted out, final member of our jury, George. 94 days to do this. <laughs> George, the tribe has spoken. 